Hi guys, welcome to third grade, chapter 10, lesson 7. We're going to go ahead and get started with number 2. It says to estimate how much liquid volume there will be when the container is filled. Write more than 1 liter, about 1 liter, or less than 1 liter. Now, when you are doing this, remember that a full big bottle of soda, the big kind that you get from like a pizza place, that's a 2 liter of soda. Okay? So, a gallon of milk is more than that. Um, a water bottle is going to be less. Obviously, a spoonful is going to be less. Okay, so let's go ahead and start there. Okay, so a small container of milk. That's not a milk jug. That's just one of the little ones that you get from school. So that's going to be less than one liter. Okay, a water bottle. Still going to be less than one liter. Okay, now a bathtub is going to be more than one liter. Okay, you guys go ahead and do four and six, okay, and we're going to go down and do number seven and eight. It says to use the pictures for seven and eight, Alan pours water into four glasses that are the same size. So the glasses are the same size. Which glass has the most amount of water? Well, this one's filled up the most, so that's going to be D. Which glass has the least amount of water? This one's filled up the least. That's going to be A. Pretty easy, guys. Don't make it harder than it's got to be. Okay? We're going to go over onto the back where you guys are going to do the lesson check, just like always, and we're going to go down and do the spiral review. It says, Cecil had six ice cubes. He put one ice cube in each glass. Well, six times what equals six? Six times? Oh, well, it already tells you. One. How many, ice, how many glasses did Cecil put in ice cubes in? So, six glasses. Excuse me, tripping over my words for a minute. All right, one has 12 muffins. He puts a quarter of the muffins into a bag. How many muffins does one put into a bag? So I can sit here and I can go one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and then I can just see how many ones I have, okay? So here's a one, here's a one, and here's a one. Well, that's three, three muffins. Okay, that means I split them into four pieces. The denominator here is four, I split them into four. Okay, all right. What time is shown on the clock? Well, it hasn't actually touched the seven yet. I know it's super close, which makes it hard to tell, but it hasn't actually touched the seven yet. And I know that because this hand, the minute hand, hasn't touched the 12 yet. Okay, so it's still gonna be six and then 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, and it's just past that, so I'm going to put 56. Do I know if it's a.m. or p.m.? I do not. It doesn't tell me there's a, uh, an activity that's happening that would tell me. It doesn't say going to school or going to bed or going to practice or anything like that, so I don't know if it's a.m. or p.m., okay? So, we're going to go ahead and do... Number six it says Julian drew the line segment below. Use your ruler to measure the segment to the nearest fourth of an inch. Okay, so we're going to start. Notice that my ruler starts before my lines do. Okay, so I need to start where the lines are and not where the ruler starts. That's about right here. So that's about one and three quarters of an inch. One and three quarters inches. Okay. All right, guys. Thanks for hanging out for 10.7. Come on back for 10.8. See you soon.